Good morning, children. How are you all? I hope you all are fine and studying also, na? So this is your English class, and I hope you all are studying English. You all are practicing it. So, so uh, in English, I have already taught you alphabets from A to Z. So you have to learn the alphabets. You have to uh, able to be able to recognize the alphabets. So I hope you all are studying well at home. Yes, na. And if I give you the picture, you have to recognize the picture. Which picture is this? And then you have to tell the alphabets. And if I ask you which alphabet is this, you should be able to answer it. You should be able to tell. Yes, this is, ma'am. This is this alphabet. And if I ask the sounds of the alphabets, we have already done it. Yes, and we in my previous videos, I have already uh, 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 taught you the phonic sounds and the song also. So I hope you all are watching my videos very well, and you all are uh, preparing for your exams also. So you have to practice the daily uh, writing the alphabets within the line. You have lines, four lines in your copy. So in that, those lines, you should be able to write the alphabets and try to write within the lines. Your alphabet should not come out of the line. So when you are writing, you have to hold your pencil very carefully, as I have told you, and then you should try to write it very neatly in good handwriting. You want star na in your copy. So if you write very neatly then only you will get uh, good and star okay and then you will be able to do well in the exams also okay so start preparing for your exams so uh, today again in this english class we will be learning the alphabets okay we will uh, quickly revise all the alphabets which we have learned and then i will teach you today i will ask you to write i'll do the dictation with you okay so i will tell the alphabets from anywhere from A to Z, you have to write the alphabet. So, if you have learnt it, then only you will be able to write the alphabet. So, uh, now watch it very carefully. Okay, we are just going to revise it. So, this is alphabet A. This is A. A for apple. This is B. If I ask you to write, now children, write B. So, you should be uh, knowing, yes, how you write B, okay. So, in the line. So, you should learn all and which alphabet comes after which. This also you should know, okay. After A comes B. So, this is B. B for bird, C for cat, D for dog, E for egg or E for elephant. We have E for uh, envelope also. H for horse, I for igloo insect i for india i for ice cream then this is j for j for jack k for kite then this is l for lamp m for moon n for nest o for orange p for p for parrot p for pineapple q for queen this is R, R for rabbit, S for sun, T for turtle, T for teapot, T for tree also, U for umbrella, V for, this is violin, V for vase, V for van, W for watch, X for x-ray, Y for yellow, and Z for Z for zebra, Z for zebra. So, so these alphabets. I hope you all recognize the picture. If I show the picture, you will be able to tell the alphabets. So today, if I ask you to write, if I say, "Come on, children, write alphabet P." So you should be able to write alphabet P. You uh, you should be able to write quickly, very quickly. You will write within the line. This is how you write P. This is the way you write. Alphabet P. If I ask you to now, children, write alphabet G. G for glass. So you will quickly write like this. This is how you write G. Now, if I ask you to write now, come on, children, write W for watch. 
So in your mind, you should remember how do you write W. So you should be able to write W like this, slant line down, slant line up, slant line down, slant line up, okay, this way, okay. So this is W for watch, okay. Now if I ask you to write, come on children, write uh, I, I for India. So how you will write, standing line and slipping line and slipping line. This is how. How you write? I. So, when I ask, uh, this is the way we are going to do the dictation, okay? This is called dictation. I will say the uh, alphabet and you have to write in your copy, okay? You should be able to write with, uh, within the four, three lines, four lines, you should be able to write it, okay? Whatever uh, alphabet I am saying, you will hear it very carefully, yes, ma what ma'am is saying and then you will write. Okay, that you have to do yourself. So, this is the exercise today I will be teaching you the dictation. Okay, I will say and you will write in your copy. Okay, so uh, now quickly take out your copy. We will do it, uh, do this exercise dictation. Okay, this is the last exercise which is left. Then after that, next time, next from the next class, we will start the revision. Okay, so half yearly course we have already completed. So, we will start our revision from the next class. So children, I have drawn the line. I hope you have taken out your copy. So you will write the date. Today's date is 21.9.2020. Okay. And this is the dictation which we are going to do it. Okay. So you will write here. D I C T A T I O N. Okay, and this is your C W. Okay, so this dictation is that I will say the alphabets and you have to write that alphabet in your copy. Okay. So, uh, now very carefully you will listen and then we will do it together, okay. Now, the very first alphabet that we are going to write is, I will say and then you write, okay. Now, very first alphabet is P, write P. So, you will quickly write over here, okay. You will write here, within the line you will write here P like this, okay. How do you write P? This is the way you write P. So, when I say write P, you have to quickly write P in the lines in your copy, okay? So, this is P. You should remember in your mind how you write P. Then only you will be able to write it over here, okay? So, this is the first alphabet in dictation which you will be writing, okay? So, this is P. Now, next alphabet which, which I will tell you that you will write, uh, uh, you will keep one finger over here, you will leave one finger space and then you will write okay, okay. Don't write just uh, beside this. You will place one finger over here like this and then you will write the next alphabet, okay. So after P, remember, here uh, listen very carefully what I am saying, okay. So uh, now after P write, after P write T. After P you are going to write T. So how you are going to write? You will leave one finger space over here. And then you will write T like this, okay? You leave a little space over here, then you will write T beside P, okay? Now, first alphabet was P, which I said, okay? So, you will write P first, then I said T, okay? This is how you write T. T for, T for tree, T for tiger. So, this is T for tiger or T for turtle. Okay, now next alphabet. Now, which is the next alphabet which we'll write? Now, you're going to write D. Listen very carefully what I am, look at my face and then you will write, okay? D. D for duck. D for duck. So, how you write D? So, again, you will leave one finger space over here and then you will write here D. D for duck, how you write? Sanding line and then semicircle like this okay so this is d d for duck so remember you are going to leave little space between the two alphabets okay 
do not join the two alphabets. So, always remember that there should be gap over here between two alphabets. Okay. So, first alphabet was P, then T, then D. Okay. Now, from anywhere within the uh, from A to Z, anywhere I can uh, say the alphabets and then you have to write those alphabets. Okay. So, this is called dictation. Okay. Now, after D, the next uh, num uh, next alphabet is L. L, L for lion, L for lamp. So again, you will leave one finger space over here, and then you will write how you write L, standing line and sleeping line. So this is L, L, L for leaf. Okay. So now next alphabet which we are going to write is again leave one finger space and write X, X for X mystery, X for X mystery, then you will quickly write it like this, okay. Okay, so X for X. Have you seen how neatly I have written? You are also going to write neatly and you are going to leave space in between, okay. So, first uh, alphabet was P, second was T, then third was D, fourth was L, and then X, fifth was X. Now, after X, you are going to write, uh, uh, these are the five, in one line you are going to write only five alphabets, okay. So, now next alphabet you will write from the next line, okay. So, after X, the next alphabet is I, I for ice cream, I for ice cream. So, you will write I in the next line, okay. In one line you are going to write only five, not more than five alphabets, okay, always remember that. Okay, so next alphabet, the sixth alphabet is I, I for ice cream, I for ice cream. Okay, now again leave one finger space and now next alphabet is after I write N, N for nose, N, N for nose, N for nose. So this is N. Okay, now after N, the next alphabet is Q, Q for queen, <coughs> Q for queen. So again leave one finger space and write here Q, Q for queen, Q for queen, okay. Now after Q write J, J for jug, J for jug, again you will leave one finger space and you will leave uh, put uh, one finger like this and then write J, J for jug, J for jug, okay. Now next last alphabet, in dictation I will be giving only 10 alphabets, okay. In first line you will write 5 and in second line also 5, so okay children, so the last alphabet is W. So how are you going to write, again you will leave one finger space and you will write here W for watch, W for watch, okay, got it children, so you can see five alphabets we have written in one line and another five we have written in another line, so in dictation total ten alphabets I will be giving and I will only, today I have written it, but now in exams I do not write it on the board, you have to write, I will say it only and you will write. You children will write uh, the alphabets, okay. So, remember that uh, and uh, I will say the alphabets and you have to recall in mind, you have to recall the alphabet, how you write it, now, uh, how, how do you write the, the alphabet. So, then you will write it in your copy, in your notebook, okay. Fine, you can do this work very neatly and practice it at home. Okay, ask your mother, she will say the alphabets and you have to, yeah, no one will help you, you yourself have to do it. Okay, fine. I hope you all have understood this. God bless you children.